Grunfeld Defense, Exchange, Modern Exchange Variation, 7, C58.RB1009.B2NC610.D5NE511.NXE5BXE512.QD2E6. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. With the help of the king's Indian defense, white can get ready to develop the bishop to g7 and create a powerful center that black will later try to damage. And c3 prepares the e2 e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. The Grunfeld defense uses this pawn push to gain space in the center and attack the c4 pawn. Cx d5 opens up the center, after black recaptures with nx d5, white is prepared to answer with e2 e4. nx d5 recaptures the d5 pawn and places the knight in the center, where it controls many important squares. e4 takes full control of the center and attacks the knight on d5. nx c3 trades the attacked knight, and gives white a large center that black will attempt to attack. Bx c3 recaptures the knight and supports the d4 pawn. Fianchetto move bg7 places the bishop on the long diagonal. Nf3 controls the e5 square, advances the knight toward the center, and helps the d4 pawn. c5 takes space in the center and attacks the d4 pawn, if white captures the c5 pawn then black can reply with bx c3 plus, winning the exchange. RB1 develops the rook to a half-open file and puts pressure on the b7 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. B2 develops the bishop and prepares castling. And C6 develops the knight toward the center and attacks white's d4 pawn a fourth time. D5 gains space in the center and attacks the knight on c6. And E5 moves the knight out of danger and attacks the knight on f3. Nx e5 captures the knight, unblocks the f pawn and opens the d1 h5 diagonal. Bx e5 captures the knight and attacks the c3 pawn. Qd2 develops the queen toward the center and defends the c3 pawn. e6 attacks the white pawn on e5 and threatens to open up the center. A pawn kicks the opposing bishop, forcing it to move or risk being captured. The bishop is now in a secure position. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is a fair deal after all captures. Backs off. This is the only move that works. It is the last book move. Very precise. It is best. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. This places a rook on the 7th rank, activating the rook and restricting the opponent's king. This threatens to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is best. This disregards a more effective approach to link rooks. It is incorrect. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This threatens to win a bishop. It is best. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This competes for the open file with the opposing rook. It is ideal. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. That's good. There was only one good move in that position. This permits the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a bishop. It is a mistake. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This is the only good move. It is a great move. 
recaptures. It is ideal. This wins a tempo by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. It is best. This is winning stuff. It is ideal. This prevents an attack on a queen who may have been taken prisoner. That's good. This misses a better way to win material. It is an inaccuracy. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This is winning stuff. That's good. This threatens to activate a rook by getting it to the seventh rank. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? This ignores an opportunity to capture a bishop that was threatening to win material. It is a mistake. This makes winning a bishop possible. This was a turn of the game move that put black in the lead. It is a wise decision. This protects the bishop who was attacked. It is ideal. There was only one good move there. This ignores an opportunity to defend a queen that was under attack. This permits the opponent to capture the checking queen. It is a mistake. Backs off. It is ideal. This succeeds in capturing a helpless rook. It is ideal. Recaptures. This is the start of the end game and white is equal. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Black found some nice moves in the middle game. A very strong play. It is excellent. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. Black found some nice moves in the middle game.